This is the plaintiff, James Molina. He says he rented a room in a condo from the defendant, and the thing was infested with roaches. The very first night he slept there, he was bitten. And that's very dangerous because he's highly allergic to roach bites. He had to sleep in his car for the rest of the night. He wants a refund of the $600 rent he paid and is suing the defendant for just that. This is the defendant of Jacqueline Orchella. She says she has a beautiful condo. It's extremely clean and no one's ever seen a roach there. She doesn't know what kind of scam the plaintiff's trying to pull because he rented the room for one whole month and she's not giving him a refund because there are no bugs in her condo. She's accused of bugging out a tenant. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff rented a room and it was infested with roaches. First night, he went nuts and had to sleep in his car. The defendant says the condo was so clean, roach free. It's the case of you bugged the hell out of me. You're welcome, man. All right, Mr. Molina, you were answering an ad for handyman needed, which are you Mark? Yes, ma'am. Mark had placed, I guess? Yes, ma'am. And was that for personal work or were you subcontracting? A uh, personal helper assistant. Right, because you were getting hired to do construction jobs, and yes. you, so you were, okay. So you answer the ad, and you um, accept the job? That's correct, Your Honor. All right, and then how do you come to find out about his girlfriend's apartment? From, uh, from Mark. All right, so you go and look at the apartment. That's correct. And it looks nice and clean, and it's fully furnished. That's correct. And you, um, you decide that you're going to live there for a month. That, that's what correct. are the discussions you had with her before you rented the place? Well, I asked her that uh, if the place looks nice and clean, but on, on the contingent that there's no roaches, because I have a paper that says I'm allergic to roaches, okay? Okay, can I She's, see that paper? I'm sorry? Can I see that paper? Sure. This is the key to the apartment, Your Honor. That's very nice, but I don't need the key to the apartment. I need that paper okay, you mentioned. Okay. Key to the apartment? How come you don't have that already? <laughs> All right. Well, she needs a key to the apartment. Give it back to her. The locks you? have been changed. Oh, well, never mind. Leave the key right there. <laughs> you are allergic to the German cockroach. What is the German cockroach? That's the small ones, Your Honor. The small ones, not the palmetto bugs, no, not the ones that, we saddle up in Florida. That, that's correct. Not the big bugs that freak everybody else yeah. out. Um, well, it's actually the little ones little should ones freak people freak out, out more because they're the ones that are kind of a filthy sign, mm -hmm. whereas the palmetto bugs are all over Florida. But anyway, so it's the little ones you're allergic to. That's correct. So did you end up see? Okay, first of all, did he in fact discuss his allergy with you because he seems to no, right, seems to be a legit thing? Never. He never said, "Hey, there's no roaches here." Never. Hmm. That's, that's a lie, Your Honor. I'm fine. I'm, the only reason I find that hard to believe is because he he actually has a piece of paper. It doesn't sound like something he's making up now. He, he literally he, has a piece of paper that talks about this, so I know he knows he's allergic. Yeah. So but, if I'm allergic to roaches, I might mention it to you to make sure that there's no roaches. He wanted to know, was it clean? He never mentioned roaches. I don't have roaches, Your Honor. I don't okay, so what happens? Them. According to you, you see roaches? The first night, I went to bed. I woke up like four, something woke me up at 4.30 in the morning. I looked at the time and I had a big lump on my leg. Something bit me. I don't know if it was a roach or a spider or whatever it was. So I get out of bed. I go to the kitchen. I put the light on to look at it, see what it is. And there's all the little roaches running around the, the switch plate. I look on the floor, there's roaches running all over the How floor. How many roaches did you see? About five, six. And then I looked on the floor and I saw them scattering away. When you said around the light switch, you mean the light switch that, on the yeah, wall? Yeah, you put, yes. So they were around the wall? That, that's correct. Okay, did you take any pictures of any of this? Unfortunately, I was so stressed out. I was elated, first of all, that I found a place to live. So I, when I went to bed, everything was good. So... You turn on the light and there's roaches. That's correct. And I got I got crazy with it because there's the paper. I'm allergic to them. So do you have any evidence that you were bitten, like a picture of the bite? No, I don't. Your Honor, I was so stressed out that it just didn't th thorn on me to do that. And I apologize. But I do have the statement that I took out the $600 from the no, bank. No, that's not in question. Okay. The question is not, did you pay $600? She's not debating that. She doesn't say, I don't know who this man is. He never paid me money. Her defense is... There's a roach. Let me exterminate. I mean, that doesn't entitle him to breach the contract I if saw... there's a roach, you know, or uh, I've never had evidence of roaches there. He's making it up. He just wants his money back. He changed his mind. So if that's the defense, then I need to see a little proof of the roaches. 
So how many roaches before you bail in an apartment? One. One? Uh, how many? Probably the same one. Why one? I don't know. You can kill the one. <laughs> I really... Well, there's a reason. Why one? If there's one, there's two. Or there's, there's one, there's two. Oh, there you go. There you go. Going inside the courtroom. She knows there was roaches there, Your Honor, because I saw one of those little black discs that chases the roaches away. Okay, it's that doesn't for, chase the roaches away. It, First of all, that's a precaution to not have roaches. That's well, not... That doesn't mean you have, have roaches. Them. That means you're, you're doing what you can to make sure that nature's roaches don't come into your... It's an apartment, right? Condo. It's a condo, yes. A condo. Yeah. Um, because you have to be able to control that, you know... Um, let me hear from you. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Um, after he said he did see a roach, I then said, well, you're a week early. I'll get an exterminator. I'll call an exterminator right now. Because you guys had let him move in a few days early, like four he, days early, yes. without charging him prorated rent. Yes. Uh, he said, even if I get an exterminator, uh, my reply was, there's no, been nobody there. There's been no food there. I don't understand, she's spotless. And he said, it doesn't matter, I don't wanna live there. And you did move in several days earlier, right? Yes, ma'am. So what was the problem with the solution he proposed, which is, okay, well, you're not really paying rent yet, give me a chance to exterminate the place. What? Because that's how you get rid of roaches, is you exterminate. They're, it's not... Yeah, but now it's, a, now it's a psychological thing, Your Honor. Well, that's different, okay? <laughs> like. You know, he ha they have to breach, I, I understand that. that. That's fine and I understand that. But your entitlement to a return of the deposit requires not your psychological well-being, but a breach on that part. You well, the, the breach was that they lied to me about roaches. Well, they knew there was roaches there. What evidence do you have of that last thing you just said? I'm sorry? What proof do you have that they lied to you? I, I don't. Exactly. I don't. And that's what I'm left with, because okay. this is a court right. of law. And I have to have a legal basis to turn around and tell them, because what, once you rent a place, you're stuck. So you have to prove they breached it, which means you have to prove they knew about it and lied to you and all this other stuff. And when I hear the guy saying, you know, you know I, I said to him, well, you're still in the free zone. And when I see the pictures of the place, and the, pic the pictures of the place look a, like a very tidy, nice place, which no, you also was, saw. Honor. It was. And then, so and there's no, there's no, we, I don't see food lying around. I don't see the things that would make, look at how tidy this place is. They have no evidence that there's roaches there, but it's a condo and a roach comes in through from the guy next door. <laughs> so what you have to do is you have to say, you have to safeguard your own perimeter by exterminating. That's how you little make sure the roach disc. goes to the neighbor's house. I'm sorry. The little black disc. A little black that disc. I was talking about. Refresh it. Yeah. Right, that's what you do. Um, that's standard. Right, and I'm not going to order them to return the money. Verdict in this case for the defendants. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. So the plaintiff's argument did not hold up with the judge. She found against you, Mr. Molina. Sorry about that. What are you thinking right now? I'm, 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 dis I'm disappointed. You know, you needed proof for the judge. I, I know. I feel for you. I'm yeah, sorry. I feel for me, too. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Thank, uh, thank you very you. much. All right, Ms. Fichella, why didn't you give him his money back? Because what he said was not true. If there you were step over no here. cockroaches in there. I don't know what happened with him, the psychological problems he has. You sure there are no roaches in there? I'm sure. You're positive. Yes. But you haven't been in there at midnight, have you? Yes, I have. All right. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Thank you. You must sign some documents and. Harvey? Okay, you know, everybody thinks that you can automatically bail. It's not that easy. When you have a problem like this, you have to give the landlord a reasonable amount of time to fix the problem. And if you don't, you may be on the hook for back rent.